This is a 20 amp hour USB power bank that also has a 4 millimeter DC out port for heated vests. So it has a USB-C port that can charge it at 5, 9, or 12 volts. Um, and then it says its output is 7.4 volts DC via that 4 millimeter port. But it also has output via USB-A port at 5, 9, or 12 volts. And you can get power out via the USB-C port. So it's basically a regular power bank plus a dedicated 4 millimeter barrel connector that's hooked up to a 7.4 volt internal battery. I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about $40. They haven't paid me for the review, and my opinions remain my own. So in the box, we have a small USB-C charging cable. There's the USB-C in-out port. There is a USB-A port. There's a button here. When I push it, it says 75% remaining. And then this is the dedicated DC 7.4 volt. It's a 4 millimeter barrel connector. Um, so it's plastic construction. It has kind of a crosshatch texture on it. it has the um, brand name on the front here and 20,000 milliamp hour rating on the back with some extra information there. Um, so a pretty typical little power bank. Um, it's pretty heavy and dense, so I suppose it could be a 20 amp hour power bank. It, it seems a little bit short for 20 amp hours, but we'll measure it and see. I've plugged this into a USB-C power delivery plug that can do 12 and 20 volts, but it's negotiated the 9 volt level at 2 amps. So it's charging at 18 watts, and that's the max charging rate on this guy. So even if it had gone 12 volts, it'd be 1.5 um, amps, and it'd still get that same 18 watts. So I'm not 100% convinced it can charge at 12 volts because it hasn't done it here um, but it's still charging at its maximum you know specified rate there so it is charging at 18 watts so this is a USB A to C cable limited to 5 volts so it's charging at 5 volts and 3 amps um, pulling in almost 15 watts all right so this is a quick charge capable USB A port um, and it went up to eight the 9 volt level and it's charging at 18 watts um, I have yet to see this guy charge at the 12 volt level, or provide 12 volts for that matter. All right, this is a 100 watt USB-C power delivery cord. It can go up to 20 volts, and it's still at 9 volts. I'm just going to say it charges at 5 and 9 volts. I'm plugged into the USB-C port, detecting what it supports. It says power delivery 3.0, 20 watts. Um, Apple 5 volts, BC 5 volts, Samsung AFC 9 and 12, FC. P 5, 9, and 12, quick charge 2, 5, 9, and 12, quick charge 3, 12.10 volts max. So it's charging a tablet here at the 9 volt level. It's putting out almost 14 watts. Now my laptop requires 12 volts minimum to charge. It works better at 20. Um, it is not charging my laptop at 12 volts. Um, my laptop may also require more than the 1.5 amp at 12 volts this guy can give out. So that may not be uh, proof that it doesn't work at 12 volts, but I haven't seen it work at 12 volts. All right, using my power delivery trigger here, I was able to get it to export 12 volts volts. So from the factory it's reporting 75% charged. I'm going to charge it up, see how many uh, milliamp hours and watt hours it takes to charge up. So by default the screen shows you the percentage charge and if the percentage indicator is flashing it means it's in the process of being charged or power is going in. If you tap the button it tells you the amp rate so here's 2.0A or amps and then if you tap it again it says 8.8V .8 so basically the internal battery is at 8.8 .8 volts and then it goes back around to the percentage charged. All right, this guy's charged to 100%. It's drawing like 0.2 watts still, but it is basically fully charged. All right, we put 30 watt hours into there from 75% to 100%. All right, I'm now going to discharge this guy. We've reset the watt hour counter. I am discharging this at three amps at five volts, so basically 15 watts is coming out of it. Now I'm going to also check the USB-C port if it can work at an independent voltage. All right, so the answer is no. If you're drawing five volts out of the USB-A port, the USB-C port goes down to five volts as well. 
Um, I'm doing 3 amps out of the USB-A port, 1.5 amps out of the USB-C port, and that's probably limited by my phone's draw, because my phone really only is drawing like 8, 8 watts or so. But um, if you plug in two different devices, they're both going to drop down probably to 5 volts. All right, we're just going to let this run. It's drawing 3 amps continuously, so when that guy turns off, we'll see how many watt hours it's able to provide. This is like if you had a heated vest or something plugged into it drawing 15 watts continuously. Okay, this guy's been discharging for two hours. It's down to about 30%. It's been pushing 15 watts continuously. Um, you can see that the battery part at the back here is cool to the touch. Up here, it's just barely, barely above ambient. Um, you know, so the dissipator there that's dissipating the energy is higher. Um, this guy over here, you know, the end of the battery pack here is like 80 Fahrenheit. Um, so it has no problems discharging 15 watts continuously. The battery pack really doesn't get warm. All right, so we ran it down and it's completely empty. Pushing the button just says 0%. All right, so I'm charging it up. I was hoping to read the display to see how much power it gave out, but um, it does not look like it supports pass-through charging. So while it's charging, the USB-A port is not putting out any power. All right, so this guy delivered 68 watt hours. Um, I would say 77 watt hours is a 20 amp hour at 3.6 volt capacity. So the 68 is pretty close given efficiency losses and so forth in the circuitry. Um, so I'm kind of gonna say, yeah, I'll give him a pass on the claim of the 20 amp hour claim there. All right, we're charging it up. It's again at the nine volt level, about 18 watts. Uh, reset the watt hour counter. We'll see how many watt hours it takes to charge it up. I expect it to be somewhere above 68. So the maximum charging rate I've ever seen on this guy is 18 watts. So you can't like go out on the slopes in the morning, use the whole thing up and then expect it to charge up over lunch, um, unless you have a really long lunch. Um, it's not an unreasonable charging rate. Now depending on what you're powering, 68 watt hours may be enough to run it all day. So that may not be an issue. So it took about six hours to recharge. Um, it took a total of 89 watt hours of power in. Um, so that is more than the 77 watt hours I'd expect from a uh, 20 amp hour battery, but it's significantly different from the 68 watt hours that came out um, for, you know, through inefficiencies of discharging and so forth. All right, so if you need to charge one thing, like a cell phone at five or nine volts, this guy works pretty darn well. Um, if you need to charge two things, it'll charge two things at, they seem to drop down to the lower voltage. So it looks like they both kind of go to five volts. Has a decent amount of current. So I've seen it do um, four and a half amps out of both of these ports. Um, so I have not really tested the direct to the battery connection port. If you have a four millimeter plug, I don't see any reason it wouldn't work well. Um, the advantage there is that you might not be doing the efficiency losses from the circuitry that converts the battery voltage to like the 5 volt for the USB-A output. Um, controls are pretty easy to use, you know, it's a button, it's at 100% charge. If you're discharging, it'll tell you the amp rate, um, but right now it's just telling you the percentage charge. So the battery capacity seems to be pretty close to the 20 amp hours they um, claim. It takes more than that to charge it up. It delivers less than that out um, due to charging inefficiencies and losses in the power electronics. Um, when it was outputting 18 watts continuously, it didn't get excessively hot. So it seems like a pretty good deal. It does what it says it's going to do.